Mayday, mayday, mayday. The distress call crackled over VHF Marine Radio's emergency frequency on Tuesday, February 6th at 7.57 p.m. The Fisherman's Provider 2 had run aground on Frying Pan Shoal just off Canso, a historic fishing village in northeastern Nova Scotia. Less than an hour later, the crew of the Provider 2 was safe, rescued by a local boat. But their captain, Roger Lynn Stoddard, a veteran with four decades of experience, had refused to abandon ship, telling the men, I'm going fishing. Just after midnight, the Coast Guard cutter Bickerton arrived on scene. The Provider 2's bridge was illuminated. There was no sign of the captain. The rescue attempt turned back after the vessel was deemed unsafe to board. The ocean temperature registered two degrees above freezing. Given the conditions, someone Stoddard's age might expect to survive four to six hours when immersed in water, if they were not wearing a survival suit. Stoddard hadn't put his suit on when the Mayday call was first sent. The Coast Guard made a second attempt to board the stricken vessel at 4.49 a.m., but were again turned back by dangerous conditions. Five hours later, a speedboat out of Canso raced to the shoal to check on a life raft floating there. The raft was empty. No one had seen the captain for 14 hours. A search and rescue plane with infrared technology was circling overhead, looking for a heat signature on the provider indicating Stoddard was still alive. No signature was detected. The plane continued searching in a six nautical mile radius from the boat. All there was to find was open ocean. The following morning, the Canadian Royal Air Force rescue chopper landed on the shoal. Winds were gusting up to 80 kilometers an hour. Water was washing through the provider's windows. She was leaking oil and debris, nets, hooks, chunks of plywood was everywhere. Rescue divers contemplated swimming to the boat, but again deemed the risk too great. At last light Thursday, the search for the captain was called off and the case handed over to the RCMP as a missing persons file. Six fishermen, frustrated by the failed search and eager to provide closure to Stoddard's family, set off from Canso Wharf at daybreak Friday. They had chainsaws, knives, scuba gear, ladders, and a body bag. The men cut a hole in the boat's deck. They found the captain in his bunk with his boots off. Roger Lynn Stoddard looked as though he was sleeping. He was 64 years old.